everything is going to be okay. Like I just, I love that. Hey guys, we're gonna be doing signs as Sailor Moon characters. And if you know anything about my Twitter account, or if you are not new to this channel, you know that I live for Sailor Moon, die for Sailor Moon, binge watch Sailor Moon, rewatch Sailor Moon, like I get paid to do it or something. And that wasn't a pun, I don't get paid. I like don't talk about it, I guess. I like don't really make it a video, so. We're gonna do that. I'm going to explain why I think. I'm pretty sure like a lot of who I said were certain characters contradict some of the planetary rulerships of why I did that. Um, but remember like we aren't all just one sign. We're all a plethora of signs and charts and aspects and things. So um, don't fight me over this. Also, I made this thread in July of 2017. And so I have obviously learned so much since then, but this is just, this is just for fun, okay? Um, I did leave out Luna and Artemis though, which is awful. I think I'm gonna go back and add that. So, signs as for moon character. Where'd she come from? Uh. Uh. I'm Sailor Venus, and if you're looking to make any trouble, here it comes right back at you. So for Sailor Venus, I said that she was a Gemini, a Virgo, and a Libra. Now, when I made this threat, I I don't necessarily regret that I made Sailor Venus these signs, but maybe I would have altered them knowing what I know now. The reason why I chose Gemini and Virgo to be Sailor Venus um, instead of like a traditional Taurus and Libra as Venus is because Sailor Venus is just like this really mature, reserved, omniscient presence. I feel like she's just the adult in the group. Venus to the rescue! Oh, hi, Mina. Uh. Uh. Not only can Nurse Venus leap tall balconies in a single bound, but she can also take care of Rini and nurse your entire family back to health. Uh. I'll look after everything. Uh, but I'm okay, really. I'm almost over the flu, so you don't have to worry. No, you must be very careful or you'll uh. risk catching another cold, or even worse, you could catch pneumonia. She's right. Uh. She's like the, the mom friend. She's the one that kind of everyone looks up to or like leads by example. Um, she doesn't really get swept away in like her emotions she doesn't really get swept away in like her impulse and i feel like as much as it would make sense if i had made gemini and virgo with sailor mercury i feel like they just remind me so much of sailor venus i feel like they are so they're so interesting when you meet them and they're so reserved in a lot of ways but they're really fun and they're really warm people i just feel like it's hard for people to get to know them or understand that um, and then of course I made Libra Venus because I just feel like that's perfect. Now I did not make Taurus Sailor Venus and I'll, you'll see what I chose later for that, but, um, I just didn't, I just feel like my experience with Taurus, um, not even personal, just like textbook definition, I feel like the character in Sailor Moon Sailor Venus, I feel like was just so different from what I would imagine a Taurus to be. She bit her tongue a lot, was very reserved and very methodical before she spoke, and Taurus just isn't that for me. Sailor Jupiter. Jupiter! Star power! You've tied up my friends long enough! Now Sailor Jupiter is like the sporty spice of the Sailor Moon group. She's like the the more laid back chill one. She has a temper, it comes out time to time, but she's more like, she's more down to earth in a lot of ways. And I said Sagittarius um, because I feel like she has that feistiness, she has that fire, but she's also more um, lighthearted. She doesn't take things too seriously and that gives me so much Sagittarius energy. Sailor Mars 
Now, I did do Aries and Scorpio, which traditionally are ruled by Mars, so that makes sense. But I also added Taurus here. And I know a lot of people are probably like, why? But I feel like Taurus just makes so much sense as Sailor Mars because Sailor Mars is feisty. She's, she's very like laid back and mellow and calm, but like if you piss her off or if you like really like offend her, she will stand up for what she believes in and she will not back down. And that just screams Taurus energy to me. You're all so young, you've hardly time to enjoy your life. And now it will be over. No way. Someone as young and pretty as this has to live a long life. She owes it to the world. Who are you talking about, Sailor Moon? Me, of course. I'm easily the prettiest of the three. Ah, and what's your best feature? My face. Just check out this beautiful nose. <laughs> I've seen gorillas at the zoo that are prettier than you are. Oh, how dare you! And it's totally fine. Again, like, if you disagree, that's fine. But, like, this is my opinion, so... Yeah. <laughs> In my opinion, I just don't see Taurus as anything but Sailor Mars. I don't know if that's weird, but that's my opinion. For Sailor Moon, I did say Cancer and Leo, and I feel like a lot of people are maybe shocked by that. I feel like a lot of people would have wanted Leo to be like Sailor Venus, but in my opinion, I feel like Sailor Moon is so much like a Leo versus Sailor Venus. I feel like she's more, because Leo people are more impulsive and they mean well, but they're just really bad at doing things the right way. Like they just are very messy, but they don't try to be. They just have big hearts, but they are kind of like children. And I feel like that energy is just kind of Sailor Moon. <laughs> and then um, like obviously like when, when Leo's like grow up and like when cancers evolve and grow up and mature and like they form those life experiences, like they become these very strong people these very healthy positive forces for the people in their lives and that just that feels like cancer and leo but like before they grow up they're a whole mess usagi it's after eight o'clock <laughs> I did try several times, dear, and each time you just told me to go away. I don't remember that! Usagi! What? I'm in a hurry! I know, but don't you need your lunch? Thanks, Mom. Sailor Mercury. Now this one, I feel, made a lot of people probably the most confused with me because I feel like it kind of maybe doesn't give off the energy that I should have because traditionally like mercury would be gemini and virgo that's just astrology but for me personally with the character sailor mercury with who she was in the show um who she was in the manga like i just i don't agree with that i just feel like i have i see so much aquarius pisces and capricorn energy in sailor mercury i feel like she's reserved and methodical and restrictive in a lot of ways with her emotions and she has a big heart but she tries to um protect it and tries to like hide behind logic and reason to fight against um you know her emotions i feel like she'll like suppress a lot of that energy because she just wants to focus on fact everything is free you're kidding no way way do you think we'll get any? I have such a sweet tooth. Come on, I'll race you inside. Oh. But cakes and pastries aren't very good for you. There's little if any food value or vitamins, and besides, they're very high in calories and fat. And I guess that also could sound like Virgo, but Sailor Mercury is more focused on not making everything neat or pretty. She just kind of felt, she just naturally herself. And I feel like a Virgo would be more, more Sailor Venus in a lot of ways because Sailor Venus kind of makes everything just look so neat and proper and precise in a very like glamorous or beautiful way, which I feel like a lot of Virgos have that kind of energy. Um, but Sailor Mercury is just more like, she's not trying to adhere to trends or she's not trying to, like I feel like she's a little like all over the place, but she has a method to her madness in a very like, a uh, very, Saturn energy kind of way and it just screamed to me Aquarius and Capricorn but she also has that extremely emotional sensitive overly sensitive uh charisma about her which gave me that Pisces energy so that's why I chose that. Tuxedo Mask is a Leo um it's even textbook 
a Leo and I know like a lot of these things um, like have birthday information on fan pages where you say like oh actually this is her birthday I understand that these are just my opinions um tuxedo mask is definitely a Leo to me You be. I am Tuxedo Mask. Sailor Moon, look into your heart and find the warrior within you. It is your destiny. I would say Luna is a Virgo because she just wants to take care of everyone, but she wants to like shove logic and reason on them as her way of taking care of them. Just be quiet. You're going to listen to me, Serena, and you're going to listen good. Understand? <laughs> And Artemis is more like a Libra male figure to me, so I would definitely say Libra and Virgo. I would get that vibe from the cats. Mina, I'm back. Hey, Mina, how was your day? Hello? Earth to Mina. Yoo-hoo, are you in there? It's me, Artemis. Question. Who feeds you and gives you shelter? Mm hmm? That would be you, Mina. Everyone knows that. We've lived and worked together to save the Earth and our futures from day one. Hmm. Together, you say? Together as in we don't hide things from each other? What's there to hide? Oh, besides your glass. I admit it was I who broke your favorite one and should have told you. And I dropped your new ribbon in the mud when it rained. Not about that at all. Ah! I wouldn't be this upset over a dumb ribbon or over a replaceable glass. It's something else? You notice the claw holes I put in your new favorite sweater you bought to go to the dance? Or could it be just how I spilt your entire new expensive bottle of imported perfume, huh? No, it's not that either. Although now I can quit wondering how all that happened. Mm -hmm. But anyway, those are all forgivable offenses. They're no big deal. Accidents will happen. But this, this is so huge! What could she know that's got her so mad? I told her every... Ah! Mina, uh, where's your telephone? right here in my hot little hand that just answered Serena's call. She just talked to Darian. She told me you're in love with a human and you have a daughter. It's all a really big mistake, believe me. Liar! And not! R2! And not! I was as surprised as anybody. It's some kind of mistake. The only mistake here is that all this time I've looked up to you, Artemis, took your word. And now I know that I can't trust you now. <laughs> Rainy, to me, would be probably an Aquarius. I kind of get like strong Aquarius energy. She's like very unique and true to herself. Work your magic on Sailor Moon! Uh, may I remind you you're a superhero? Bang! <coughs> Why is it do you think we fight for you? Mental void? That completes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting to you. And I hope that you don't get upset with me over it. It's just for fun. And um, make sure to comment below. Tell me like what you think about all of this. Tell me if you understand at least like where I'm coming from, even if you don't agree with me. And um, please give me a thumbs up. And please make sure to just subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on so that you get all of my weekly updates. I try to post new videos at least once a week. I will eventually go back to two times a week, but right now I believe it's going to be every Saturday. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.